Hello everyone, welcome again. So in our previous video, we discussed that how you can locate a column inside the web table. Now in this video, we will move towards the coding part and we will see that how you can handle the web table from the Selenium web driver. So inside my project, I'm going to add a class called test web table. This class will extend our framework class that is start web driver. Inside this class, I will add a public method as public void test grid. And I will use the annotation at the rate test, which is coming from our test ng jar. Now, after that, in order to handle this web table, first I need to open this web page. So, I will just update my configuration property file to open this web page. So, resource config.properties, and here I need to update and also the other file here so for this I'm going to use the Chrome browser so just let me put a sysio and see that whether it is opening or not so I will put a breakpoint over here and run this script in debug mode So as you can see here, it opened the particular web page where we have our web table. So I will just continue the execution. Okay. So now our task is that to print the value of first row and first column at the console. So here I will use the driver object to locate that element. So driver dot find element by dot x path. Okay. And the x path will be this the first row and first column. So as we know that this element will return us the object of web element. So I will use web element. element or let me call it a column and I will use the sysio to display its value so sysio column dot get text okay so this is the method which is going to return the value which is located by this x path okay so again I will run this script in debug mode I guess I didn't run in debug mode so it directly print the value at the console so let me run it once again so it has hit the debug point and this is our web page if I do a step over so it, it is able to locate the element and now this is the value which it printed at the console okay So this is done. Now let me print the value of the first row second column. So this will be your column one and this will be column two. So this will be column one and column two. And the index value will be here as two. So I'll just run the script in debug mode again. okay so first locate the 
first row and first column print its value then locate the first row second column and print its value so this is like this so as I told you earlier you can locate any column inside the web table based on the row index and the column index so now I'm going to print the value of all the rows and column using that concept so here first I will use the for loop as we need to deal with multiple rows and com multiple column so the approach will be for first row print all the column for second row print all the column and so on so that is the reason we need nested loop the first loop will take up take care of iterating over the rows and the second loop will take care of iterating over the columns so for int i equal to 0 let's say i is less than 6 so let me check how many rows are there so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 rows are there so let me print till 5 and it has to be start with 1 so this is the important point every row or column will start with the index 1 okay not with the 0 as we do inside our array and this will be for column so for int j equal to 1 and this is so 5 columns are there so 5 okay so instead of using ing I will put row so it will be easy to understand row and column okay so now this will be the code and I'm going to remove this part from here okay now instead of hard coding the value of row and column I will read it from the loop so like this okay so this will be your row and column or in order to make it more simpler I will store this inside a string so this will be a string x path equal to this and then I will print that x path and then display the corresponding column value so x path and sys out column dot get text okay so I'm going to put a debug point here and run this script in debug mode so let me do a step over so this is the x path of first row and first column and this is the value Similarly, this is the x path of first row, second column. This is the value. First row, third column, and this is the value. And similarly for the rest of the rows and column. So I'll just remove the de debug point and continue the execution. So if I look at my console, it has printed all the value. Okay, let me format it so it will be easy to understand so I'm going to comment out this part not this part this one okay and using is println I will use just a space with it and run this script 
so it will open the chrome browser read all the rows and column and display its value uh, let me add a new line here now this time it will display the proper table value at the console so this is done okay again I think this should be here okay now the values are properly aligned so this is the value which is coming from the first row second row third row so on okay so in this manner you can handle the web table or a grid using the selenium web driver so that's all for this video and thanks for watching.